The city of Bridgeport stepping up its efforts in the battle against blight today. Their latest target and eyesore on Stratford Avenue, it is coming down. News 8's Jeff Allen has more on what the city plans to do with that property. Bridgeport needs a facelift. And it's getting one. The city's anti-blight department is taking names and taking down decrepit houses. And this building has been like this for a long time, so I figured they should have been tore this down. This just the second on a long list of demolitions Bridgeport City Hall has planned in 2013. Neighbors say it's been vacant about two decades. It takes sometimes years for us to get the courts to move on these and give us the possession. And many derelict uh, uh, property owners, uh, owners of derelict property, hide behind limited liability corporations. But at last, gaining sway in a bureaucratic battle with owners of eyesores one at a time. It is what it is, you know, it gotta go, gotta go. One key strategy that's helping achieve results is the formation of a joint inspection committee about a year ago. And the joint inspection committee is the fire department, the housing code, the anti-blight office all working together. Even if not quite cutting like a hot knife through butter just yet, a strength in numbers and collaboration Mayor Bill Finch insists is crucial to revitalizing Connecticut's largest city. Every property value on this street will now go up because we're removing blight. And then when we replace the blight with something beautiful that creates jobs and housing for people, the housing values will go even up further. You know, hope it do create jobs. You know, a lot of people out here looking for, scrambling, looking for work. So I think it's important. In Bridgeport, Jeff Vallon, News 8.